Hey, hey, my friends. I have the quickest workout for you today. It's just some of my favorite daily moves that I think, honestly, most people would benefit from doing every single day. So let's get started. The first one, if you know me, you're probably not surprised. It is hip circles. So I have lots of videos about hip circles, but if you want to join me right now, basically what I'm doing is I'm circling my hips to the right, forward, left, and back, keeping my shoulders and my head still. So it's really just using my lower body right here, my hips. It's a great core workout, and it not only releases the pelvic floor when you come on back, but then it strengthens the pelvic floor and the abs as you come on forward. So some keys are to keep your knees bent. You don't wanna be rigid like this, that won't work as well. So keep your knees softly bent, and you're just drawing a circle on the ground beneath you with your hips. Let's go the other way. So circle around. I like to exhale as I circle around forward. I'll do it again. So go at your own pace. You can take it slower or you can go faster. You can also do it on your tippy toes but let's just do a couple more in this direction and really feel your core light up, your pelvic floor lift and your abs pull in as you circle around forward and then release as you circle around back. Okay, finishing up. All right, next move that's one of my favorite daily moves is the pelvic rock, but there's two ways to do it. You can do cat and cow or you can do it on your back. We'll do both ways. So cat and cow pose. You can also, by the way, do this standing up. So if you don't want to get down on your knees, you can simply arch your back and then exhale, lift your pelvic floor like a kegel, pull your belly button to your spine and round your back. But just make sure you're supported from below when you're rounding your back, make sure you're supported from below by lifting your pelvic floor into that little kegel. So release, inhale, and then exhale. Do that little kegel, lifting your pelvic floor, pulling your low belly to your spine. And that's what it looks like standing up. Let's do it on hands and knees now. So you inhale. So why I like this move and you exhale. Inhale. Why I like this move is you're getting full spinal movement from your head all the way to your tailbone. Exhale. You're also getting a release of the pelvic floor right now. The muscles between your sitting bones are releasing and stretching. Exhale. And then right now, the muscles, the pelvic floor muscles between your sitting bones are lifting, they're contracting, they're kegeling. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. You can get fancy with this. You can tuck your toes and then you can straighten them. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, point them. But the key really is, whatever you do with your feet or anything like that, the key is that you feel that release of the sitting bones, releasing the belly, and then exhaling, doing your kegel, lifting your pelvic floor, and pulling your belly button to your spine. Okay, let's try it now on your back. So come down through your side, and this is just a pelvic rock on your back. So you're simply going to inhale, release. It's very much the same of what we were doing before. Inhale, and then exhale. The key with this, though, is that you're not getting quite so much neck movement. You're more stuck to the ground with your head. So it's more isolated to your lower back. So inhale, release the belly, breathe into your belly, and then exhale, do that little kegel with your pelvic floor, the contraction, and then pull your low belly into your spine. Inhale, release, and exhale, lift your pelvic floor, pull your belly button into the spine. Let's do one more. Inhale, release, exhale, engaging, lifting the pelvic floor, pulling the low belly to the spine. All right, now let's do butterfly bridge. This is a favorite of mine, and we'll start just by firing up the center line, keeping your butt on the ground at first. 
So just firing up the inner thighs and the pelvic floor muscles as you squeeze the knees together and then open them apart. So this is enough. This is a starting place for this particular exercise. You can just stay right here and go nice and slow. If you want more, then you can add a bridge, a hip lift. As you bring the knees together, you lift your hips. So you're gonna bring your hips down as you flop your knees open. And then you exhale as you come onto your flat feet and bring the knees together and lift your hips. So inhaling, hips down. Exhaling, come onto your flat feet and lift your bum nice and high. Inhale, bum down. Exhale, come onto your flat feet and lift the butt nice and high. Let's just do two more of these. Inhale, bum down. Exhale, squeeze the knees together. Feel the center line lighting up, pelvic floor activated. Inhale, release, and then exhale, do it again. Feel that lit up through the center. Lift, 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 lift. I love doing this in the morning to kind of prime my core for the rest of the day. Now come on down. And my final move actually does require, or it's best with, a yoga block or a meditation cushion or a bolster. And that is hips up time. So putting your hips up on something, you want your back of your sacrum, the back of your pelvis on the prop, the yoga block or the bolster or the pillows. Don't put it under your low back. That's not comfortable. You want it under the back of your pelvis. You can just stay right here. But my favorite is to do either like a modified happy baby stretch like this, or ultimately I like to do my frog stretch. Now this yoga block I have is actually really hard and fairly uncomfortable. <laughs> so find something that's comfortable, a nice soft foam yoga block, or like I said, a meditation cushion or some pillows but just get in this position that's nice and comfy and do this lovely frog stretch. It opens up your pelvic floor, releases tension in your inner thigh muscles and your pelvic floor. These muscles that tend to get really tight, especially if we're people who sit a lot or maybe if we have stress in our lives, these muscles do tend to get nice and tight. So putting your hips up on a slight elevation can be really nice if you ever feel any pressure or heaviness in your pelvic floor, or if you have prolapse, this is a really nice position. So again, play with what you wanna do here. You can do frog, or you can do happy baby, modified happy baby pose, or you can even do legs up, which is nice energizing pose. Brings blood flow and vitality back to your heart and to your brain, or you can just have your feet down. But I really love to encourage all of my clients, especially people in my lift program, to do three minutes or so, three to five minutes of hips up time every day. It's especially good in the afternoon, maybe if you feel any pelvic floor heaviness toward the end of the day. It helps to relieve that pressure and just revitalize you so that you can move on with the rest of your day feeling really strong and powerful. So that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed my daily moves, hip circles, pelvic rocks, or cat-cow pose, um, butterfly bridge, and hips up time. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend, and until next time, remember to eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. I have all sorts of resources to help you live a vibrant life. Even with pelvic health challenges, you can feel amazing. So please check the video notes for more ways we can work together. I'll see you next time.